Today's episode is brought to you by Checkfront, the booking platform trusted by over 5,000 tour and activity operators around the world. You can start your own free 21-day trial over at Checkfront.com. Welcome to the Torpreneur Podcast. Travel industry veteran Shane Whaley will take you on a journey with fellow Torpreneurs, sharing their tips, ideas, insights, and success stories to inspire you to make your tour business the best it can be. And now, please welcome your host, Shane. This is Torpreneur at Arrival, presented by Checkfront. We're joined by Linda Denbrock of Secret Food Tours. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Marvelous. So how long have you guys been in operation for? We have been in operation for five years. We started with two tours in, or I should say two cities, London and Paris, and have exploded. Our growth has been phenomenal, and we're now in 54 cities around the globe, 26 countries. Congratulations. Yeah, isn't that amazing? It is amazing. So tell me a little bit about Let's, let's talk maybe about London, yeah. the tours that you offer there. What kind of tours do you offer? You know, I was just recently there and got to experience a fantastic London Bridge tour where they actually take you into some of the marketplaces and you get a chance to really explore the city like a local. And that's really what we try to do is to create uh, tours that are... Um, going to give you that next level experience where you're really getting immersed. So you're going in there, you're going to the same marketplaces where the locals are shopping. Yes. We also offer a, an Indian tour for those folks, you know, that's a huge area for Indian food. And that's something that to know those really great places and get kind of a little extra glimpse into that is is fantastic. Indian Uh, food is my all time favorite cuisine. Right. So living in the United States, as much as I love it here, Uh, it's very difficult to get good Indian food here, in it, my opinion. It is. So I agree. It sounds like a tour I might have to check out. Well, that's one that that's the next on our list. So, so we have a Shoreditch uh, tour right. and craft beer tour, and we just launched a, uh, a gin tour. A gin tour. Yeah, a secret gin tour. Wow. So that's kind of cool for those folks that are looking for something, you know, uh, again, a, a deeper dive into the, to the area and what yeah. makes that area special. You know, or absolutely. Night, uh, that's so. Like, how do people go about finding you then? Because, you know, people go to London, then we'll go to Buckingham Palace, uh, you know, Madame Tussauds. You know, if I'm going to London, I'm not thinking I want to go on an Indian food tour. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless someone presents that to me, then I, I'd be really excited about it. How do you go about promoting your tours to people who may not know you exist? Well, that's a great question. And, and we pop up when you're going in, you're uh, typing in for tours in, you know, the London area. And, and you know that the food tour uh, business in itself is exploding. So yes. if you're going to go in and you type in food tour, we're going to pop up. Into to Google, t- you mean? Yes, into Google. We're going we're gonna to show up. Right. And, and is um, that organic or is that paid ads that you're showing up on? Uh, we're actually paid. Yeah. And then we're because we're a very well-established, one of the most popular tours, um, we do show up organically right yeah. at the top as well in those cities and you know we're there on Viator as well so okay. if you're typing in on some of the more popular OTAs we're going to be there as well yes because so I think it's discovery is going to get a lot better as people experience a really good food tour in one city they'll look for it in another yeah that's our goal is to really uh, you know there's that risk with a food tour to commoditize yourself and what yeah. we're really trying to do is create that point of differentiation with secret food tours our tours are are smaller in nature. They're designed to be more intimate. So you're really uh, across the board in all the tours that we have, over 70 plus tours that we have. It's a consistent branded experience so that if you've taken a secret food tour, we want them to know that it's a secret food tour and look for us the next time they go on vacation yes. and have that same trusted experience with a tour that was created by a local and they have that very authentic immersive experience they're going to come out out of that three-hour tour with a really great idea of what makes that city tick you know not just the food but the art and the culture and the architecture in the area and how they all have a kind of a confluence to create you know what makes that city so special Take a day off from answering emails, telling your team what to get ready, or manually entering info across sales channels. Actually, 
take many because Checkfront will help manage your bookings. Guests book and pay however they want. Your team has the tools they need to operate smoothly and your calendar always stays up to date. Now, what will you do with all that extra time? Checkfront, one booking platform, limitless possibilities. Find out more at Checkfront.com. So when you started out, how did you know there was going to be a demand for this kind of thing? Because it was how many years ago? Five. Five. Five years ago. Yeah, I think that it was a kind of a happy accident. Uh, the right. owners love food, very passionate about it. They started it just by sharing their love of food and the things that they had discovered with their friends. Yeah. And I think that they were just part of the zeitgeist. You know, they, they discovered that there was a demand for this. So like, you know what, well, well, let's take this to the next city, to the next city. And then, you know, this year our goal has been to take that growth across the United States, North America. So we're in Canada, we're in South America, and we have taken our show on the road across the country. So you can yeah. find us in Seattle. We're, we're opening in San Diego, um, right around the corner, uh, L.A., Denver, um, up in Canada, we're in Toronto, Montreal. And you're based in New Orleans, Vancouver. correct? I personally am in, in New Orleans. So, and, and you have a tour there, yes, I hope? Yes, it's going to be opening here in probably about six weeks. Okay. Um, I actually had a hand in uh, putting that together. It's a tough job. You know, having to, like, taste food from all these different fantastic <laughs> oh, yeah. restaurants, yeah. you know, and, you know, feel sorry for me. I do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I do. But we have a real special tour there, and, and that is a city that offers so many opportunities Yes, for a company like ours, you know, absolutely. because so many great stories of, you know, New Orleans is so impactful to the food stage, yes. you know, so many great chefs. Uh, food styles that you know started in our little part of the world, and you know, if, you know, think of the emeralds and the uh, Paul Prudhommes and how. Um, you yeah, because if I think of New Orleans, I definitely think yeah. food. I would definitely search food tour going to New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, very and much so. Particularly for you know Europeans coming to New Orleans, you don't want to miss out on anything. And I, and I like that you call secret because everyone wants to have the insider information. That's what makes a successful tour. Absolutely. And feel like an insider. Well, and there's another uh, story to that secret in our name in yeah. that we offer a secret bite on our tours uh, that we do not... Uh, advertise in the material, but it is meant to be a little bit of a wow factor when they're on the tour. Like, well, I didn't know I was going to get this. And it nice. can be enjoyed even in a particular special location. I don't want to give away too much. Yes, because we have millions of listeners now who are going to be looking out for the secret Millions? You yeah. didn't tell Did me. you not know that? <laughs> millions of people listen to the tour for air. <laughs> well, I believe it. It's a great resource for, for Thank folks. You. You're doing a very nice job. Thank you. I appreciate it. What does your distribution mix look like? So, you, you know, you're saying you use Google AdWords. You, you mentioned Viator. What's the mix look like between, say, OTAs and direct business? Uh, we have about 85% of our business is direct. Wow. Which is great. But what it means to me is that I have a whole lot of opportunity for additional yes. uh, means of garnering business. So we've yeah. really been going after this last year. Uh, and, and wanting to work with tour operators and travel agents and DMCs. And I feel like we've hit our light under a bushel basket, as we like my grandma used to say. Yeah. And we, you know, we're trying to build awareness that we're out here and that we are going to be like a one-stop shopping experience for a travel agent looking for a, a partner yes, of quality tours that consumers can feel like is a, an intimate experience. They're not going to get lost in a sea of folks that they're really going to be able to sit down yeah. and enjoy something special and get a full experience. Absolutely. Another question I'd like to ask you is, in terms of booking direct with you, which booking platform provider do you utilize for that? We work with Ticketing Hub. Okay. Yeah. And they're out of London. And yeah. um, it's very easy to find us at secretfoodtours.com and create that complete experience for them. They do not need to print out their tickets. They yeah. simply book, shows up on their phone. They bring their phone to the tour and boom, shakalaka. They're in. They're in. Excellent. Another thing I would like to mention that's kind of cool that we offer is we do offer drink upgrades or food upgrades depending right. on the type of tour that it is. So they can really make that experience even more special if they want to experience some of the local uh, wines or, you know, special cocktails that were made specifically for our tour and just add that on yes. to their, onto their tour. Excellent. What's the best piece of advice anyone has ever given you 
in the travel industry? I think uh, be fearless. You know, I think that the um, opportunities are out there for all of us to be able to share our love of travel and food or whatever. And you've just got to be fearless and going after and promoting that and discovering it and learning about it. And uh, I think that's just good advice across the board, you know. Yeah. And where can people find your tours? Which is, what's the website? Secretfoodtours.com. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. We appreciate you and what you offer our community. And thanks for giving us a few minutes of time. Thank you. I am now starving hungry. I haven't had lunch. (laughs) We've talked about food in New Orleans, Indian food. I am ravenous. (laughs) That's our goal. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening to the Torpreneur podcast. Be sure to visit torpreneur.com to join the conversation and access the show notes, including links to the resources mentioned on today's episode. This is Torpreneur.